Hello everyone and welcome to another Animaniacs. I am Devin with me is Cody. Hey everybody. And continuing on with Asmanga Dio. Episodes 22, 23, and 24. Sweet. So we'll go, like, as usual, we try to go the, at least in order. Mm-hmm. And our first one is actually back to the beach house one last time. Yeah. So we're in the <laughs> final six episodes here. After this, we'll only have three, like two episodes of the main series and then an OVA that we can watch. Yeah. But yeah, back to the beach house. Or as Tomo put it, study camp. Yeah. So the beach house summer vacation, she was like, well, we should really be preparing for entrance exams over the summer break. Why don't we make it a study camp? Well, I guess that's a good idea. Don't let her fool you, Chio Chan. Yep. (laughs) (laughs) We arrive and see them all waiting. Yeah. And then, um... I can't remember who said it, but we have nine people. Oh, Niamo points out that yeah. we have nine people and we didn't get a van this year so unfortunately that means we have to take two cars two uh, fortunately cars. we only have two teachers <laughs> <laughs> I love the reveal the gates open and you just see different angles of the car and all the damages oh my it, yeah. and I swear I've seen that with the Terminator yep. beam going yeah did it did did it and her just oh she's got the biggest grin on like she knows she's evil with this yeah and cowering is with us for the first time ever yeah 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 so this is her first experience with the summer house Mm -hmm. and of course Chio Chan as soon as oh yeah I love that they're like watching as the car comes in and Chio has like already moved into Miyamo's car and there's no way you're getting her out nope She's just sitting there. <laughs> I can deal with that, you guys. They're like, Who, who's driving with her? I guess Chio Chan's excuse. Yeah. <laughs> Your rock she is. And Coward's like, I don't really do well with motion sickness, so maybe I'll, I should. I'll go with her. Then Sakaki's like, I'll go with Yukari. I'll man up. And then Coward's like, Well, Sakaki's gonna die. I'm gonna die alongside her. Well. <laughs> I don't think Karen quite realized how bad this was. Karen's heard the stories. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't know exactly how bad, because she's like, wait, what are you getting, like, how bad is this? But the way you guys are going on about this tr- psychologically traumatized Chio, yeah, that's not a great way to mm-hmm. describe a car trip. And, you know, I was saying, when I saw this, I was thinking, oh, they're going to just no, this is the one where we kind of get to see her driving skills. <laughs> and, like, they're as bad as the legends foretold. Yeah, so first, it tears around the... First, let's get all three people in the car. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we have Kaori and Sakaki and Tomo with Yukari. Yeah. And, and... Tomo is riding shotgun. <laughs> Which is not a great... Because she's kind of cheering on you, Curry. Yeah. So, first thing, before we even take off, uh, Yukari spins out and does, like, several donuts on Chio's lawn. Yep. And, and, then, and she's like, oh, whoops. And I was still in reverse. in reverse. Flips it into drive. And what? just rockets oh. out of there. It's like, overtake them! Yeah. <laughs> like also, them. I think all the road signs, because it's in Japanese, it's hard to read a lot of them. Yeah. We don't read Japanese here, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. But I think they're like, slow, stop, and like, go 40, as she's speeding over all of them. Yep. And Yukari, to Yukari, those are just guidelines. Yeah, like the ants. Sorry, that's a joke from something else. But... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. So, and then their Yama stops at a stoplight, and they pass by, and they're like, Why'd you stop, losers? And then you hear, 
Oh, they're flying. Oh, Sokka. They're flying. <laughs> I don't doubt it. With her driving. Yeah. And we finally make it to the beach house. Cameron finally realizes just how bad that trip is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I speak this along, so I'm like, yeah. okay, so next is we go to the beach. Not really much happens at the beach. Yeah, no, not really. And then we head back and we have study session. <laughs> Which, watching, basically, Toma, well, first is Osaka. I love the Osaka. <laughs> wow, she's really focused. Bam! <laughs> No, she fell asleep. <laughs> I like his suit. I was like, he's asleep. Oh yeah, you knew. Like, she's not moving at all. Yeah, no. And then she asks Chio, and then Yomi, and then Yukari. Like every fucking time, she sits to yeah. look at the book. And Yukari's like, "Don't you know how to think?" Yeah. <laughs> it's a sign. Are you even trying to think? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> They're like. Hey, um, Niyama. Oh, yeah, this, I love this, because it's, uh, Niyama, explain this math problem to me. Um, I, I, mm, Q existential crisis. Yeah, this is where she's like, my skills as a PE teacher are not valid here. Nope. <laughs> and then Yukari's like, yes, but my skills as a literature teacher here are just gonna shine. Mm-hmm. These just children will look to me for guidance and wisdom instead of you. <laughs> that whole scene was funny. She's like Moses parting the Red Sea for them and everything. Yep. And then, trying to save face, I was like, well, hey, have you guys ever juggled a ball? I can teach you. Why are you interrupting their studies? <laughs> <laughs> At that point, I was like, kind of valid. Valid. Yama just sits in the corner and thinks about her choices in life. Yep. Chiochan tries to cheer her up. It's like, it's okay, you don't have to lie. Yeah, you don't have to be so nice. <laughs> and moving on for this is the Osaka incident. Um, I, uh... This ooh. is hilarious. This is out of a horror movie. <laughs> yeah! So, Osaka is second last one to wake up. Still sleepy, and she is like, well, the only person to wake up is Yukari. Yeah, and we're worried that she might get angry if we wake her up. I'll do it! I've always wanted to wake someone up with a frying pan. Sleep walks into the kitchen, grabs an item, yeah. walks into Yukari's room. <laughs> Yukari wakes up! Or, like, just wakes up because someone entered the room, which is good sense of awareness. Yep, turns to look at. Oh, Chiyo Asaka. Ah, you woke up on your own. <laughs> that means I failed. I'm not going to spoil this. No. But anyone who's like, okay, we already know, you know what she's holding. Yep. I realize if you have it and you're curious, I do recommend it because it's borderline horror movie. <laughs> yeah. My job was Oh yeah, Cody was just staring at the screen for a while. <laughs> I'm like, oh. oh! We're really going this far with this joke. Oh! You went to a ketchup stain. Oh, they did? Yeah. Oh. They show you Osaka and Kari in the room, then they cut to Tomo pouring ketchup on eggs. Okay. And uh, Kagura being like, oh, you splattered everywhere. <laughs> I think you were too enthralled by the scene to realize yeah, that Yeah, I was. And then back to school, really. Yeah. And the summer, or the sports festival's next. Oh, God. Um, I guess we didn't... There's a scene there, and I spotted it during this, but it's actually during the summer vacation one, but we'll get motivated. Oh, God. Yeah. First day back from summer, and Tomo is basically 
losing her marbles. Not losing her marbles, but um, trying to remember, in denial. Well, I don't know. I heard that laugh. That's the <laughs> laugh of a psycho. <laughs> That's the laugh of the brain is trying to reset itself and it is not going well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Today is the summer service day. Today is the summer service Now, I don't know exactly what that means, but... Maybe over there, over in Japan, it means last day of school. Maybe, or uh, I'll have to, I'd have to look it up. Yeah. But it kind of implies that, like, we're only at school because it's the summer service day. Tomorrow we'll be back at the beach. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Not true. No, this is the denial. Yeah. <laughs> and then Chio Chan trying to motivate everybody yes. by screaming, Get motivated! I actually had that as an alarm. Oh, God. <laughs> it was kind of fun for a bit. Get motivated! Get motivated! Get motivated! Until finally you're like, shut up! Oh, then she just like runs out of energy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All that motivation gone. <laughs> yeah. It's like trying to fill a balloon, but then you don't like pinch it whenever you have to take a breath. <laughs> well, I tried that again. Yeah. All right, now onto the sports fest. Yeah. And we're gonna have some fun events this year. <laughs> I mean, so, yeah. Oh, no. no, they're a lot different than last. Oh yeah. The ones we focused on anyway. Like we, it looked like we did some similar ones, but we're not going to focus on yeah. those. We already did those jokes. Yeah. So the first thing is Chio Chan coming in to announce that there's a new sports fest and they have a new events, and Osaka immediately brightens up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Brad E. Khan! <laughs> what? Yeah, it's like those three words don't associate with Saka. <laughs> Fix your sentence. Yeah. Is there a bread eating contest? Okay. Yeah. And then there, hey, there is. There actually is one. I'm going to practice for that one. Look, bread. <laughs> yeah, you squeeze the bean taste out of it. Oh, she was just that, like, interested, but she wasn't realizing. Yeah. But more on the bread eating contest and Osaka's journey. Well, actually, they're trying to practice in the classroom. And they're like, "How do you string up the bread?" Yeah, and I think Connor is like, "Put a fish hook in it." Oh, don't they just put a fish hook through it? I'm like, "You're an idiot." No, that's dangerous. We wouldn't do that. <laughs> Connor, stop helping. Yes. Speaking of, they're trying to set up a tent. And Tomo and Kagura are fooling around, and then they're like, Hey, can you guys help instead of, you know, fooling around? And Kagura earnestly wants to help. At first, not so much. Well, she's just helping. Yeah. But then Tomo pushes her, and she knocks down the entire tent. And she realizes, like, I like this scene because she kind of, like, oh, I feels bad. Feels really bad. She's like, I'm actually trying to help here and I didn't want for this to happen. <laughs> and I'm sorry everyone, I screwed everything up. And, and they move on and just help each other. Yeah. Oh, Tomo like pokes fun and then instead of, you know, getting the jab back that she always gets from Kagura, she Kagura's Pierce. like, Yeah, you're right. <laughs> and then Chio and Yomi help, cheer up and help her. Yeah. And then Tomo pushes her, which Kagura Tomo. gets angry. <laughs> Tomo, stop being a jerk. Tomo's like, there's the reaction I was missing. <laughs> how about you help, Tomo? No, Tomo, how about you go away? <laughs> yeah. You're more of a hindrance than a help. Yeah. All right, on to the events. Uh, I want to see if you remember any of these. There was... The costume one. Yep, the costume race. Which Tomo and Chio-chan are participating in. And cheated at. I don't think they cheated. We don't see it. 
<laughs> they push, yes, oh, but yeah. I think racing like that. Yeah, okay, that's fair. It's yeah. probably allowed. It's probably allowed, or, you know, it's high school students yeah. racing. They're going to do the push and shove. Yeah, her costume was good, actually. Yeah, she w went as a policewoman, and she actually went as a culprit. <laughs> she actually looked official. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> Tell me what you mean. She yeah. just had, like, a jacket over her head and can't comes on. <laughs> and I was just like, Osaka's like, what do you think the crime Chio Chan committed is? And they just look at her. Like, where are you? I was like, no, no, no. I would ask the same freaking question. Oh, yeah. I was like, if Chio Chan was a culprit, what crime do you think she would do? Steal candy. Yeah, steal. I was like, it'd be something so petty. <laughs> Oh, okay, and uh, then we have the bread eating contest. Yes. <laughs> Which Osaka is all ready for. <laughs> Until they announce that, oh, we have different bread in each lane. <sighs> and I was like, all right, now you just overwhelmed Osaka with choice. <laughs> and and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, and she's going to get last place because she's out of her mind. Yeah, no, she's overwhelmed. She's analyzing every aspect and then going into her own thought process. I was like, wait, why isn't, like, the cream bread as round as the melon bread? There's no reason for that. Yeah, and then next thing you know, she's standing behind a fifth place flag. Yep. I came in last. I got the melon bread, though. <laughs> yeah. I was like that. It's like, you still took a victory out of this yeah. somehow. <laughs> and then, um, we have the, uh... Pulling contest with rope. Oh, we have the same events where, yeah. uh, like, the pulling contest, the ball rolling contest. Oh, yeah. I like your joke with the, uh... Why do we make Chio the anchor? Yeah. And why did we put Chio back in the ball rolling contest again? Yeah. I loved those jokes. <laughs> it's like, we don't like Chio here. <laughs> it seems like it. And then, um... We had the cheerleading. Oh, yeah, but we didn't really get to see that. We didn't get to see that. The only joke that played there is that there wasn't enough boys for the cheerleading team on in Yukari's class, so Tomo, Kagura, and Sakaki dressed took, as boys. Dressed as yeah. in the boys' uniform, which Kaorin is all for. Kaorin yeah. is very much Sakaki wears the pants in our relationship <laughs> fantasies. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You can have that. <laughs> I don't want it. But yeah, that was funny. I like that. Yeah. Uh, then we have the just, race. Just the real old race left. Yeah. Which I like that Tomo's all fired up for and Yobi's like, if you don't settle in, you're going to blow all your energy before you, the race even starts. What did she do? She starts off very impressive, oh, yeah. as she does. Oh, yeah. But and halfway through, yeah, she blew her energy. Yeah. And then Yomi has to, like, play catch-up. Yeah. Manages to get to Kagura, who can close the gap. Mm -hmm. And then it's to Chio. And, and Chio, I like this because Chio's like, I've been training for this day, and I, my no only goal gonna, is not to be passed. No one's gonna pass me. Well, it's not no one is going to pass me. My goal is I no one. I don't want anyone to pass me. I'm There's a difference in motivation. There. Before I give it to Sataki. Yeah. And but yeah, I, but everyone starts passing her, yeah. and this boy besides Sakaki is like, "Wow, are you really trying?" <laughs> and I'm like, "You get screwed up, yeah. buddy." <laughs> Sakaki takes off her headband, puts her hair in a ponytail. And is set to win. <laughs> oh, yeah. Takes the baton and just f flies Bolts. by everyone. <laughs> like, my God, I'm like, am I watching the, the Yukari car right now? <laughs> yeah. This is <laughs> no this, brakes, all speed. <laughs> this, yeah, this felt like that. And the only reason she's doing it is because she doesn't want to see Chio sad for all mm -hmm. her effort. And this would have been great, but Yukari is the last person on the team. Like, apparently we're doing the Teachers Are the Anchors. Oh my god. And, of course, Niyama's like, I'm a PE teacher. I run faster than you. Yeah. 
And Gary's like, well, I can't have that and tackles her halfway through. And I think we, did, we didn't see what it said. Yeah, we can't read the Japanese, yeah. but it either they came in last place. Or you're disqualified. Or they got disqualified. I want to say they came last. Because I want to believe that after, the t like, it didn't disqualify them, but after the tackle, Yama recovered first, got to the goal, and then Yukari. Yeah. Probably. We'll go with that. Yeah. And on to the last episode for this is the Sakaki's Redemption Completion Arc. Yeah. Everything comes together for Sakaki in this one. Yeah. Starts off with them in the library? I yep, think? they're in the library and Sakaki's on the computer, which we first see a computer in this. Yeah, this is the first time. Googling and then finds a semi sad article. No, sad article. It's a very sad article. Oh, yeah. Of a cat being hit over where we went to for a vacation. Yeah, which. Yeah. We're worried that it's the mother cat to the. One we met. The one we met. I can't remember the book. It's not Pico Mia. Oh, don't be Osaka. Yeah, I was like, thanks, Osaka. And I was like, now I can't think of what it actually was. Maya? I think is what they called it. Maya is the name of the cat. Yeah. I think it's like Maya Piatonia. That might be it. Yeah. Forgive me if I butchered that. Yeah. And then we see this cat walk through the streets. Yeah. So... And then we end up with them outside of school, just heading home. Yep. What is this cat? What, what is the problem with this gray cat? This demon cat? This cat is the cat from hell. The, yeah! So, there's two things that we should point out. Yeah. So, apparently there was a bigger cat that used to run the neighborhood. Yeah. And kept basically all the other cats in line, really. Oh! And because the owners moved away, the cat, big cat moved away. So Demon Cat kind of became the boss of the uh, cats. Oh. And Demon Cat seems to have it out for Sakaki. Apparently. Like, I don't know what this cat is about, <laughs> or that it ate Sakaki. Yeah. And manages to form a mob of cats to yeah. take on Sakaki. I'm like, what the heck? And it looks pretty bad because it's just Chio and Sakaki. Yeah. And she is freaking out. Yeah, because the cat scratches are very infectious. I'm just a 12 year old girl at this point. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of cat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sakaki's doing her best to protect Chio. And Maya comes in, stands off against all the cats, lets out a roar of almost. All the other cats take off. The other kid, the demon cat looks around. He's like, "Uh, yeah, I can't. I'm not taking that on my own." And runs. Yeah. <laughs> then we find out that the cat is weak and sick, and they take it to the vet. Yeah. And he'll be fine with rest and food. Yeah, he's just exhausted from a trip. Oh yeah. And. They're like, I've never seen that cat kind of cat before. What is it? Oh, it's a mixed breed. <laughs> right? A mixed breed. Mixed breed. It's a mixed is that, breed. Is that right, Chia? Uh, yeah, it's yeah, a mixed, that's breed. A mixed breed. It's a mixed breed. I like the doc. I, I want to say the doctor's like, yeah, I know that's bull crap, but I'm going to let it go. Yeah, I'm not going to get involved in this. Like, he's a good hearted guy, so oh, yeah. he's like, okay, you guys really want to care for this cat. Okay, get out. Yeah. I know I should be calling, like, uh, animal services, yeah. but... But I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to be the better guy here. Yep. Let happiness take over. <laughs> then they come into the problem. It's like, well, the cat traveled all this way for Sakaki, but Sakaki can't have a cat because his, her mom has allergies to them. Yeah. Solution. Chio's going to look after the cat until Sakaki moves out into college where she can live on her own and have a cat. Fair. Which is a great plan. 
And I think in school the next day, don't they, like, suggest, let's all go see him. Yeah, they're, like, after school, they're, like, talking about it. And it's like, yeah, Sakaki's going to come over today and see him. Like, we should all see him. Yeah. And no then, one. Tomo being the bitch. God, I wanted to hit her so much. Tomo suggests, like, oh, boy, is Mr. Tadkichi going to be all right with that kind of cat around? Oh, he'll be fine. He's too big to eat. Actually, maybe Maya's have been known to hunt wild boar. Ah. What? <laughs> top running. We gotta go now. <laughs> they get back, and it, as they're coming up, Tom was like, oh, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, first Chio Chan starts running off, then everyone starts to follow, and then they surpass Chio Chan and Saki because those are the two slowest in oh, the yeah. group. Don't leave us behind. Yeah, but they leave them oh, behind. Yeah. And then they're like standing at the gate because Chio Chen has to let them in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Tom was like, oh, I no. love that she waits <laughs> and just, like Chio Chen's just in earshot and then, <laughs> oh no, we're too late. I wish you would have punched her. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I like that Tomo finally gets what's coming to her. Oh, God, yes. They go in and. Taikichi and Maya are, are just together. Well, Taikichi's laying there, and Maya's just gotta be in the cat oh, and yeah. fly. <laughs> <laughs> then we see Maya come running for Sakaki. Yeah. And Mr. Tadi Tad Taikichi. That yeah. <laughs> comes running for Chio Chan. <laughs> There's a sign. I love because this is how dogs work. They're like, oh, that's what I'm supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And I forgot there's a size difference between me and my master. Owner. And then I head to. I braced because I knew it was coming. Yeah. And. Tackle. Geo Chan flies off and we get. Yeah. The Asmaker died out. Yeah. Asmaker <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Tama, you dumb idiot. Yeah, so we'll cut into. Tomo, they're just hanging out in Chio's room. Tomo is playing with the cat in kind of the not gentle way. way. Yeah, she's kind of like holding him and making him like swing his arms around. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Yomi's like, you, you might want to stop that. He's going to get mad at you. Sure, he said that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just love the sudden stop from Tomo. And then the turn with the tears in her eye. And the blood. And then she's like, it hurts. <laughs> and Sakaki's like, you can't be scratching people. And everyone's like, no, he she did, he did a good job. Yeah, Tomo needs to learn. Yeah. Kagura That's... with the red card. I'm like, red card for roughness. <laughs> <laughs> and then, as they're leaving... They, she inv um, Chio Chan invites Sakaki to stay the night. Yeah. As they're leaving, Tom was like, I hate that cat. You brought it on yourself. yourself. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll finish off with just yeah. Sakaki playing with Maya. It's the cutest thing ever. Oh, God, yes. Seeing her just kind of roll along with Laura. I know a few um, memes have used that role. Mm -hmm. Cute kid walks in. I, uh, I love the coffee's ready, and then <laughs> Sakaki immediately back into proper Sakaki. He's like, very good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I was like, no, no, you, you can't hide. Yeah. And then heartwarming moment before bed yeah. of, you really like animals, don't you? I like cute things because I was never considered cute because I was much taller for my age. I don't think that's true at all. <laughs> yeah. You were cute. very cute right there. Yeah. And I agree with you, Chia Chan. She was I very cute. I do too. So, we only have three more episodes left. Two of the main series and then an OVA. Yeah. So, until next time, have a good one, guys. Peace out.